Well, this year has been crazy good and crazy challenging. Let me start with some of the crazy good stuff. What do you think about uh, the way that Eric Buderak is playing now? I know that uh, we had a great time following his progress at the uh, Australian Open, and now he's in the semis of the U.S. Indoor Nationals. It's uh, wonderful to see, see uh, this great uh, accomplishment. Crazy good, too, because of uh, lots of things that I've been able to do this year. Took a, a trip with my wife, Barb, 48 years now that we've been together. That's crazy good. And uh, we took a, uh, a cruise through the Baltic Sea and went back near the area where she was born. We also went to St. Petersburg, saw a lot of neat places, had a family reunion in, uh, in uh, a town called Laza, uh, where 50 of her relatives came together. A number of other things. Was able to participate fully in tennis and life this summer. It is so much fun being able to teach. And also crazy good because I'm able to work with the uh, team here on an occasional basis. Boy, they started off on a, on a positive note. Playing Washu, number four team in the country, and uh, they split the singles. Now we lost all three doubles. That's a little bit uncommon, and we're working on it. You can you can uh, bet that uh, our doubles is going to come around. So we've got a team that's competitive with the best in the country. It'll be fun to watch the progress. Tommy's doing a great job. Another crazy good thing is the uh, creation of a sport ethics endowed position. Uh, Tommy, of course, is the one who fills that position. It will be uh, something that guarantees that uh, the men's tennis coach position and the uh, and the uh, sport ethics is permanently uh, here at Gustavus. Another thing that's crazy good is the progress on my book, Let Love Serve. Uh, Mark Miller has been working a lot here lately with me. It's been fun having him do that. And, uh, and we're getting very close to publication. May is our target date. And uh, I'll be happy to share that book with any of you. And uh, so with so many things that are crazy good, uh, it can be balanced with things that are crazy challenging. Uh, I had uh, cancer has continued to advance. I lost my left femur and my left hip to cancer. And so now I walk with a cane. But that doesn't stop me from, from coaching or going out and doing biking. Uh, that's uh, so I continue to stay active. I've had uh, radiation, in fact, three stereotactic radiations on tumors that are in the spine and, and in the ribs, but uh, they seem to have worked, and that's good. I continue with, uh, with uh, uh, chemotherapy, and, uh, and the last time that I went over to Mayo, uh, they raised the possibility that maybe the cancer had spread to my lungs. My kidney cancer oncologist thought it, thought it had, but then I got a call back from my radiation oncologist, and she thought maybe not. So who knows what the future holds, but one thing is for sure. I'm focusing on things that, uh, that I'm going to be doing, and we've got, I've got a couple of things coming up that are quite exciting. One of those is going to be going out to Indian Wells with the possibility of seeing Eric and Raven play. And then in late March, taking a Western Caribbean cruise with my family. So lots of excitement. And, uh, and, and I think it shows that this, this year has been crazy good and crazy challenging.